So switching from a Trump associate to Donald Trump himself, his new policies about uh, immigration treatment, like Central American immigrants in particular, like he is going bad shit crazy as oh, a Nika, you know this like, is not my topic I you know, know it's not I know topic. but what do you think it's gonna take to turn this around like it's so much going on like he's saying so much stuff now he's like oh well if you're trying to get asylum then you should seek asylum in the country that right adjacent to your country right which he's, would be Mexico yeah, right he's like <laughs> oh get the hell out of here no yeah, and, he's <laughs> calling, and did you see his most recent tweet yeah. calling Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez yes. the squad, Omar, the squad. I, Ayanna Presley he yeah. said go Go back home. If you don't like America. Go back from where you came. Go back where you <laughs> the crime infested places. You know who should go back to where they came? Melania. His like, wife. first of all, for his wife. He's the one man immigration, immigration policy you himself. You know? And all your ex wives will accept, accept Marla. Marla. But you know Marla. But come on. Like, I said, and that's what's so funny. It's like everybody, even um, Ilan Omar, she's been a citizen longer than Melania Trump has. So I know it's like, Melania's how like. Can you Hey, I can't wait to just that. Ooh, they, they take him to jail. I just can't wait till this is over. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Get now, your toy. Get your toy. <laughs> no, it's bad. Go. It's bad. I mean, when you have people saying, I mean, the immigration policies are horrible. We already knew that. He kind of rode in on the whole immigration thing, right? Saying Mexicans are rapists and we've got to get them out of the country and it's right. invaders and all this stuff. So that's he's already established all the brown that. Immigrants. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> but for him to even say now that people who are here already, people who are American citizens, don't belong here because they're black. And brown, but he, no, that no. is ridiculous. No, what he's saying is, if you don't love America, you should leave. No, that's that's that's, that's, what what, that's the gloss he's putting on it. What he means is, you don't really belong here because you are. But he's black really, and brown. This is going to he, this is going to heat up because he has to win this election, and that rhetoric wins the election. That's what he thinks. But think about it: when you look mm -hmm. at the midterm elections, when he doubled down on the immigration, he lost a whole bunch of house seats. So it didn't really help him as much as he thought it was going well, to help what? him. guess what? Billy Bob is going to come down out the mountains. They all going to be voting. <laughs> they all going to be voting. They're going to be like, get your possum and your handgun. Oh, you need the possum oh. and the handgun. <laughs> oh, Nika McLean. Oh, Nika McLean. Okay, I'm just saying, what do you guys think needs to happen to turn this around? Like his... I we need to go. Go. But America has lost so much street cred. Like, America's yeah. like... We're supposed to be the shining city on the hill and taking yeah. all the immigrants so how do we and get helping back? people and land of, opportuni like, land of opportunity. I mean, ideally, you get him and all the people of his ilk and you send them out in a remote island where they can live the rest of their ignorant lives and just well, then, be ignorant together. But, but there will be nobody here. Like, it'll just be us. <laughs> There'll be a good, good meal. But uh, in all seriousness, I think, I mean, he's definitely got to go. Like. He's gonna I go. think he's going to get four more years. No. Agent Orange is yes. gone. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I don't know if I have him for He's got to go. And I think, I mean, I'm not professing to be a political expert at all. But I feel as though there has to be more unity between the Democrats and Republicans on what vision they want from America. It's for all Americans, not just the rich, not for the, the poor. But that's not for, happening. I know, right? But that's right. exactly. but that's, that's the what's problem. gonna. That's go. the problem. Like so that's like what, that statement. I I wanted like to see like five like little kids singing behind you. Swing low, <laughs> swing chariot. Like because but, I mean, it's that, capitalist society. But that's like, the, the only way. The that's the only order. way it's ever gonna move because every both sides have their own agendas and they're not. They're staunch on it, right? Right, right. And I think mm -hmm. Republicans, you know, they have that proximity to power. Yes, their their man is, is has the presidency. They have oh, all God. of these state houses across the country. They have the power and they're and gonna the do money they is can happening. to double so down the on, the, on the power. Is That's trading the higher than it's ever. Right. It, the, the money is happening. Like like But it's like at what cost? Because you know, you're doubling down on who you think might be okay with this kind of rhetoric, right? Mm -hmm. So this kind of white identity politics mm -hmm. stuff. The white population is shrinking. The people of color is what's what's growing in this country. By not, 2050, we'll be a majority dollar, minority. But not white but, dollar. It's not shrinking. So, so that's so, the thing. So it's so, not it's not sustainable. Is but, the point? But I, it's not sustainable. It is. It's not sustainable. It, it, you know why? Not it is? long term. Oh, this is no. good because that like goes to another story that I'm going to talk about. But it is because what we have built, what we have bought into, is white culture in a way that that. Who yeah, it's who? never going away. We, we non-white people. Like, so the makeup, the hair, the, the nails, everything to be like this lily white thing. So as long as the but white But we're not going to, we're not going to, we're not going to, I know where you're going with this, but we're right. not going to vote for that at the ballot box. 
I don't know a whole lot of black people no, who are going to say yes, yeah, but you, Trump. But you, no, but you're going to know a whole lot of black people that don't vote still. Same thing, because they still don't feel like they're part of the table. They feel they don't that's, feel like they're eating that, at that, that table is, that still, is a, right? That okay. Is a good point. So I yeah. know that you guys have comments on this subject. Like, give me a break, please comment below. Let us know, it, right. and, and then share this video because this is like a topic that we really need to start, like, really circulating. Yes, and we mm -hmm. need to vote, guys. Vote, 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 <laughs> vote. But they have yes. to feel like they're a part of it. That's the thing. But that's people why we so have like poor. twenty-five people running for president, right? So right. everybody's like, I, I represent you. I represent you. I represent. You know, so there's there's a lot of options this time. Hillary Clinton just wasn't popular, so we that, had a lot of was, options was, last time. That was, that was before, like they dwindled down to, to Hillary. We had a lot of options. It was no, a we, didn't. We, we had Bernie. We had Bernie, and we, we had, had Hillary. Bernie. That's it. No, <laughs> we no. had a gajillion Republicans running. Oh, okay. <laughs> remember they had like Kamala, 16. maybe Kamala, maybe. Kamala. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, you know, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think. Okay.